So this looks probably quite random at this point, if you've watched the previous episode, jumping from then to now. Because now I've only got two of the same Pokemon. So basically, when it comes to my team building, I keep going. I'm not satisfied with this is the final version. I keep going for, well, what if this Pokemon did this? Or what if this Pokemon was this one instead? And so on and so on. And I was, just went to a teacher training course yesterday. And so I had some train rides to, to fill some time with. And then I did a few what ifs. And the main what if was, well, what if the Latias was just a different Pokemon? What could it be? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it could be Porygon 2. Okay, that could be quite cool. Oh, but then my team, I don't really actually want to go for Trick Room with the Porygon 2. Because then, well, Gastrodon, it's not really a Trick Room sweeper. It's slow, but it's not going to do great in Trick Room. It doesn't matter. Heatran, well, again, it's slow, but then I don't get to activate my zoom lens. So then Magma Storm becomes unreliable again. That's a bit annoying. So maybe I should add a Trick Room sweeper. Okay, so Sneasel is now an Iron Hands. With, like, and then that would be able to sweep and so on and so on. And then the other what if was, well, the Gastrodon paired with the Heatran is actually pretty sweet. But what if it was a different Yawn Pokemon? But it could be a Sylveon now that I've got Trick Room, because then that could be able to sweep in Trick Room. Let's just have another look at the Yawn Pokemon. And then this is a hard wall to Ogre Pond. And the synergy between Grass and Dragon and Fire Steel is actually amazing. And this does way more damage than Gastrodon can do, especially with the Life Orb. So maybe Hydrapple for EUIC? Question mark? I haven't actually tested this yet. Like, this is just theory that I did on the train, and now I'm here to do some testing. But, um, theoretically, this is an amazing partnership. And the main reason is this. Because now Magma Storm can't miss. At least against the first two Pokemon. This is what sold it for me, the Super Sweet Syrup. Because the inconsistency of Magma Storm, I've got it to 90% with my zoom lens. Well, now I've got it to 100%. That's, that, that's got to be the thing that tips this over the edge, right? Surely. And I know it's once per once per game, which is annoying. If it's once once per... Um, if it's just every switch in, like, Intimidate, that would have been pretty sweet. But apparently it's once per battle for some reason. But, yeah. Hydrapple, Heatran. Is it better than Gastronon Heatran? Like, I know I don't have Storm Drain anymore, but Hydrapple hard walls water types. So, maybe. Maybe. These are just my thoughts at the moment. That That's where I got to... Randomly from the previous episode to here. Um, it's got Life Orb, so it can be a Trick Room Sweeper as well. Like, Leaf Storm is 100% accurate with the Super Sweet Syrup if that's activated. And, like, it can Oko, Alandris, and Carnet. You know, the main threat to Heatran. So, yeah, I, I think this could be a pretty sweet combination. And then it was just, well, Chempow's probably too fast. My team is basically a Trick Room team at this point. I've lowered the speed on the Landorus, increased the attack, um, just so it can do more damage. Um, uh, Porygon 2 is a Terra Blast Ice Beam 1, but not Poison. I don't understand the Poison 1. Okay, I, I rephrase that. I understand it. It's called against Ogre Ponds to be able to Oko them. But I don't think it's very good. Poison Ice, I don't think it's very good coverage. Ghost is great. So Ghost, normal, that's already great coverage. And then Ice Beam to be able to, again, hit Landorus, the main thing that beats Heatran. Uh, but with this Terra Blast Ghost, I have given myself enough special attack that it's going to be hitting as hard as possible on the special attacking side. While also, it's annoying that Shodan gets rid of these IVs. Because if I get the attack boost, uh, then now Terra Blast is a physical attack. And then I can Terra Blast Ghost Oko a Fluttermane. Whereas Special Terra Blast doesn't KO it. But again, like, no, stop doing that. Leave it. I don't want you to change. That's one of the annoying things about the thing. Because, like, Terra Blast, it's a sp Like, this isn't a full special moveset. Oh, maybe if I, if I put it to 29. And then... I guess if I can do, like, 30. And I can do that. No, that doesn't work. I guess I'll be 149 just so, because I think that it will keep my um, unique 30. Just so that would, like, I can practice and get the attack boost. So I'll nerf my Porygon 2 just a little bit so, so I can get the attack boost. Also, Basket Legion, Trick Room Sweeper. Um, I don't know if I want minimum speed yet so I can underspeed Incineroar, or if I want regular speed so that I can outspeed Incineroar for when I'm not in Trick Room. I don't know yet. But Basket Legion is the Trick Room Sweeper. As long as, uh, again, just things that beat Landorus. Because Heatran is the main main thing for this team. Like, if you've seen my previous thing, look at that, 66 Magma Storms. Like, Heatran is the main thing around the team. So, um, I want to do a Trick Room Sweeper. 
something like Arachnid seems pretty cool. So let's, like, I just use Amber Palm as my um, reference, because it's got the same defenses. So liquidation is 100% um, minimum on that. But then if I have a look at Basque Legion, and get rid of the Life Orb. Wave Crash is so much stronger. So, yeah. Why would you use Araquanid when Basque Legion is just significantly stronger? I know White Guard's cool, and Water Bug is actually pretty good as a typing. But Water Ghost is a Trick Room Sweeper. You can't be faked out. So you can just keep going with your sweep. Last Respect is stupid busted. And the fact that now this is not a Choice Garf one, and I don't have to invest basically all in attack and all in speed. Like, this is the attack investment that I had for Basque Legion on my Choice Garf one, so I've actually got a little bit stronger, which is quite nice. And now it is so much more bulky than my Choice Scarf one was. Like, and the bulk is actually entirely respectable. So this should be still pretty sweet. Like the defenses live a uh, minus one wood hammer from an ogre pawn and easily lives a horn leech, just regular horn leech. Uh, and then I should be living a spec shadow ball as well um, with the Basque Legion. So yeah, th this this is a pretty viable trick and sweeper, I would say. Um, so this is where I'm at at the moment. And it might seem quite random, but that tends to be my team building stuff. And this is obviously going to suck, and I'm going to go back to Gestrodon, but hopefully Hydrapple can do something. Against this kind of team, they've got... Well, I guess they've got Terrorblast Fairy on the Volcarona, haven't they? Well, assumedly they do. Yes, they do. So I will leave with Heatran Hydrapple, because that's the point of what I'm testing. And then... I think I want to go Iron Hands, Porygon 2 in the back. Like, this is one of the theories where I don't need to leave with Porygon 2. Everyone's going to expect, oh, they're going to leave with Porygon 2 because they need to get Trick Room. And then suddenly, here's Heatran Hydrapple. So, um, and then Porygon 2 in the back. But this is the kind of team that I would expect to f face at UIC. This is going to pick up because it's becoming a little bit popular. So hopefully I'm able to defeat this. Okay, Hydrapple is threatened. There's nothing wrong with double protect here though, is there? Yep. And then... So we're Terra Poisoning just to avoid it. So I can now Magma Storm. But surely because they know I can Magma Storm, they're not going to. They're going to protect the, the champ power, right? No, apparently they're not. Okay. But this worked out. Worked out very nicely. As long as I don't flinch. I do flinch. Bit annoying. Um, well, now I will... I'm going to switch to Porygon 2. That's fine. Do they protect? Or do they Sacred Sword? Sacred Sword won't KO me. And I KO the champ power. The biggest threat to the... Um, to the Hydrapple, like I know Raging Bolt is as well, but that's decent. Um, I am a very hard wall to Volcarona with Heatran, which is quite nice. Thunderclap will KO me, but I can just go Iron Hands and Trick Room, right? Mm -hmm. This is fine. Correct way around to do it. Which one's going to protect? Probably both. So I don't think it particularly matters too much. I'm going to double the Volcarona. Right this worked out. This won't KO because the Citrus. I could have considered Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost would have got it. No, it wouldn't because um, I didn't get the attack boost. But Clutch EVs. Am I in Thunderclap range? Even if I am, I still attack. Because the Volcarona is in range too. That's fine. Mm 
Mm-hmm. This is Calm Mind as well, isn't it? Oh, that's, that's so close to a KO. It's a dirty roll. Then if they would hammer, they'll KO themselves. Mm -hmm. And dirty roll in my favor this time. Or freeze. No, but they do would hammer. Okay. That's okay. Because I can tear a poison and yawn here and trick room. Or, mmm. No, which way is the correct way? It's definitely tear a poison. No, it's just two fickle beams, isn't it? Two fickle beams will KO it. One fickle beam will KO it because I got the double power. Nice. <laughs> well, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> just an Oko straight through the Calm Mind boost. I don't think that would have mattered um, if I didn't get the all out because then they'll Thunderclap KO my Hydrapple, but two Ice Beams would have KO'd them um, from there. Okay, that was decent. So I think actually Landorus will be pretty sweet here this time. Actually, Land yeah, what am, I, what am I thinking? Landorus is great here. Landorus is so good here. Um, I'm going to leave with Landorus Heatran this time. And bring Porygon, because I'm intending just to U-turn out, or um, hard switch if it's jump out lead. And Hydrapple was decent, but I think I still prefer Iron Hands. This isn't as ideal. This is where Gastrodon is much better. No, I can't do that. Don't think this works. If they double the Heatran, this doesn't work. They didn't, though, so that's good. So they can just fight. Do I sacrifice the Heatran here? But I, because I can switch into Iron Hands with the Porygon two, and then if I lose the Heatran, then I'm sorted. But if they double the Porygon two with the Surging Strikes and fake out, then that's really bad. Please KO the Heatran. You got a free KO. Take it. Don't double the Porygon 2. Nice. Because now that is pretty straightforward. What's the correct way of doing it? It's, which, one's, which one do I fake out? It's Incineral, right? So they don't burn me. Because they can't KO either Pokemon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because they can't Terra Ghost either. <coughs> and I am now completely sorted. So I will close combat. Might even KO the Urshifu. And then just Ice Beam here. That should be all good. Yep, that's KO. That's massive damage. Wow, okay. Uh, and then I can just Wild Charge here, and I can Ice Beam here. And would you look at that? Well, that feels like it's quite a nice matchup then. Which is good. Happy about that. And now, I need to start 
brand new one of these. But that's okay. Yeah, Magma Storm's still the best. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, it's good that that felt pretty comfortable. Especially when I brought Hydrapple to one of the games. Okay, and again, like, this would be pretty reasonable to face at EUIC. I'm surprised we haven't seen Iron Hands and Incineral Pet together much. Like, I know they share a ground weakness, but still. Anyway. He tried to hydro apple because I'm testing it. Well, that's the wrong way around. It should be that way. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference, but it does. Um, Anders is really good here. And then... I'll bring out in hands for this one. And if I don't win, I'll bring Paragon 2 over it next time, I think. Okay, this has worked out pretty well. I will simply double protect. And if they lock into a fairy move, then I will Terra Poison. And if they lock into Shadow Ball, then I'm free to just stay in as Hydrapple. They switched into Iron Hands here, then that's a good play. Yeah, it was Shadow Ball, so Hydrapple can just do regular old attack. But I can't KO the Flutterman this turn with Heavy Slam. I would have to Leaf Storm to KO it, but then that would drop my special attack. Oh, they have Taunt, okay. It's a good spot. I think I will just KO the Fluttermane. Because that's reasonable damage. And they, oh, yeah, they have, because they have Taunt, they can't um, touch the Heatran with Incineral. So that's all right. And this will KO. That was brave, switching in on a potential Fakal Beam. And they bring in Incineral, they fake out the Hydrapple and then the Dragon Dance. So I switch into Landris and I Magma Storm the Roaring Moon. They switch into a Moongus. Which means I can yawn the Roaring Moon. So I'm not sure why it wasn't Incineral, but I'll take it. I haven't terrored yet, so now, yeah, no, my, my Landorus is amazing now. I will double the Roaring Moon, and if they Rage Powder, that's fine. Because Yawn will still go through onto the Roaring Moon. <coughs> One of the bo bonuses of Hydrapple over Gastrodon, like there's going to be different ones. Okay, Protecting Spool is reasonable, but I still just Yawn. In fact, it's Yawn and switch to Landorus this turn, isn't it? Get the Intimidate. Well, I don't think I survive a Pollen Puff into an Acrobatics. So it might be worth protecting and switching to Landorus, because then I can Terra Blast KO the Amoongus. But then if they do Dragon Dance this turn, then that's really bad. But they can't, because I'll just Yawn them. Well, that's annoying, because I could have just Yawn them. I really could have just yawned them. Like, okay, fine. Um, it's quite annoying. 
But now I will double. Mm -hmm. But this is massive damage. That's over half. Wow. Okay. Calm down. I go to Iron Hands because I'm, I'm just switching straight back into um, Landorus to get another Intimidate. So you should protect and parting shot into the Amoongus here. So I'm going to yawn there. I will still close combat even though they're going to protect just to make sure that if they do try and attack, then I can still KO them. But now I can yawn the Amoongus, so then they can only Rage Powder once. I'll just go back, because if they go into Incineroar, I should be alright. Um, they still haven't Terra Flined, which is interesting. And we'll see this turn if Amoongus is fast or not. So it is a min speed one, it would seem. No, they didn't switch, okay. It is Terra Flying then, finally. Oh yeah, because they Terra Flying, Fickle Beam won't do much. Whoops, I'm an idiot. Um, whoops. Yeah, I messed that one up. Didn't factor in the Pollen Puff um, either, so that was really bad. Should protect. Did protect, that's good. So that was good damage, and here's a yawn again. Now you have to choose. Do you fake out and then your other partner is asleep? Nope, do switch, that's fine, because now I get a rock slide. Missy Mungos don't matter. Didn't KO, okay. It's got to be. It's got. It's got to be switched to Incineroar again. But do they protect? So I close combat and rock slide here, and if they attack, I lose. Okay, I got that. Because they're guaranteed to sleep with the Amoongus now, so then I can just go for rock slide and. Uh, it's not guaranteed because I can miss rock slide, but that is very good. Now, I just need to hit a rock slide. And regardless, Iron Hand should live even still. Can you hear the bin men outside? It's quite loud. I can hear it through my headphones, so I assume that it's picking up on the recording. Well, they crit, and I missed the rock slide. No, I don't miss the rock slide. Okay, so the game is over. That's good. <clears throat> so almost the things that needed to go wrong went wrong, but it's fine. Is quite loud outside. I'm going to assume that the recording is picking that up. But there is nothing I can do about it. So. Heatran Hydrapple was fine. Do they switch it up at all here? Trying to lead with Landorus this time and just again you turn out if I need. But Landorus is very good here. I think I might lead with Landorus Porygon 2. Bring Iron Hands. I want to bring Heatran because it walls the supporters. But then it's like okay and uh, Heatran's still fine here. Alright. Okay, I've wasted their um, 
their booster energy effectively, which is nice. I'll attempt to U-turn and also Ice Beam. Uh, actually, no, Hard Switch is probably pretty good. Because I'm, I'm going to attack because they've got Taunt. So I'll switch to Heatran and I'll Ice Beam. Yeah, I didn't care about the Taunt. I wasn't intending to Trick Room anyway. So now I can... I got the attack boost, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I can Magma Storm and Ice Beam here. And that's pretty decent. Trapping the Royal Moon is going to be nice. Mm-hmm, that's good damage. Now, a Landra switch in here is risky, but would be pretty sweet. No, I, I, want, I want my Landra on the field on its own so that I can just Terra Blast flying. I don't want it to take any damage here. So I'll protect an Ice Beam, the Roaring Moon. That's fine. That's also fine. That's what I wanted, because I, like, I, well, I, at least I didn't want Landorus to take any damage here. So um, I can now switch into Landorus. Could just U-turn. Yeah, I will. And I'm glad I did. Oh no, my zoom lens, 75%, no! Go and get it. Nice. I'm still stuck member storming, which is unfortunate. Might be better to just close combat than my Incineroar. Because Roaring Moon isn't doing much. No, but if they fake out, then they would take an Earth Power. I will just close combat. Yeah, because that's not much. They did parting shot, so something's taking a massive hit. I should KO anything that comes in except Flutter Me. That was a Mungus. So I need to hit the Magma Storm, which I do. Because now this will KO. That's good. Warrior Moon's going to ke get KO'd next turn. So this is looking pretty decent. Protect here. The Iron Hands is going to be doubled. But it has to be this. Probably should have been Wild Charge, but oh well. It's a shame my Landris is going to be intimidated. But I think their Ogre Pond could probably do it now. Because because I got intimidated. I won't survive with a Heatran anymore. If I didn't protect on the heat tran the last turn, I could have gone for it. But now I'm going to double protect. Yeah, don't get it. It's fake out into Landorus. It's Ivy Cudger into heat tran. It's not for some reason. So that means I actually could still do it if they target the Landorus again, or if I crit the Terra Blast. That was odd. Because if I Magma Storm that turn, then I yeah, they again they did what? If I hit the Magma Storm, I win. Heatran, you've lost your zoom lens, do it! Come on! Nice. That was a big choke from them. What were they doing? You had to KO the Heatran because you can't touch the Heatran with your Incineral. That was weird. I'll take it, but that was weird.
Yeah. And that's how it works out. So, yeah, that was a little bit odd, but we take those. 